and six sports desk. Our six sports two a days tour around mid Michigan continues. Today we start with the reigning CAAC Blue Champions Bill Farocco and his East Lansing Trojans. EL made it all the way to the Division II state semifinals last season before falling to Muskegon. The team returns a lot of its biggest playmakers from a season ago, including quarterback Ben Fletcher and running backs Duarte Sams Jr. and Jace Clarizio. Standout tight end Charlie Baker was among those who graduated. He is now a walk on at MSU. Still with so much talent returning, the program has high hopes, but Coach Bill Farocco has been hammering home that last year's success doesn't mean anything this fall. As we have told them, success doesn't breed success. What success does is gives you a roadmap, roadmap to what needs to be done if you want to improve on the previous success. We look up to the guys that graduate every day. We, we learn from them every single day and we just hope as seniors that we can leave a legacy just as they did. So we want to teach the younger guys what the Irish tradition is about here at East Lansing. Another team who finds themselves near the top of the table in the blue year after year are the DeWitt Panthers. Rob Zimmerman's crew return 16 starters, seven of those being juniors, which include names you heard all last season like Trav Moore and Elliott and Abram Larner. So experience is one thing this team is not lacking. The Panthers are just four years removed from winning a state title and a key piece in their journey back to Ford Field started months ago at 5.45 a.m. in the weight room. We've been lifting, like Trav said, in December, and we're going hard every day. And there's, we take no days off. We have like our leadership. Our leadership is outstanding this year. So we have guys always pushing each other in the weight room. The work they put in, they've they've been so committed that they've grown. I mean, it's the strongest team I've ever had in my 25 years here, 26 now. And then. They were young, so they're starting to mature a little bit more physically. Even though we're still young, they're a year older, and that certainly makes a big difference. 